Greetings, dear people of Trinity. Welcome. I'm glad you have joined me for my 30th reflection. I'm a morning person. I love the dawn. I love the dark before the dawn. It's a time when I feel most at peace and the monkeys in my mind haven't awakened. I'm not yet distracted by to-do lists, by the news, the state of the world or of our nation. It's when I can be still and center in prayer, except for lately. I've awakened feeling overwhelmed, which I think is really a fancy word for afraid. Saying over, I'm overwhelmed makes me sound busier and um, needed and important, when all I really want to do is crawl under my covers and hide and pull Nevi, our dog, who acts like a dog, into my arms. Did you know that the Bible says, fear not, 365 times? That's one fear not for each day of the year. Lately, I feel like I need one fear not for each minute. And you, perhaps you feel fear these days. Today, I just couldn't sit still and be so yes, I confess, I opened my computer to check email, and lo and behold, there was this from Nadia Boltz Weber, Lutheran pastor and occasional savior of mine. Listen, God of all things, we made it another week despite the fact that seven days ago I wasn't sure how, so thanks for that. I have some pretty big fears now about the future. I mean some really catastrophic notions about what might happen. If I could ask this one thing, please remind me that this moment right now, the one where the light has just broken the line between ground and sky, when all I can hear is the motor of the fridge and the clicking of the cheap wall clock I got from Ikea, when I'm in my robe and my coffee is sitting warmly in my mug is the only thing that is real. Bring me back to this moment convict me of the fact that there is nothing I can do about the past and that the days to come are never as real as the day I'm in. Because those fears of mine are starting to feel like a monster from the future that shows up each day and steals the joy, the peace, and the pleasure of the present. And we're in the middle of a global pandemic right now and I need those things. Help me vanquish the fear monster if indeed perfect fear, perfect love casts out fear, then remind me that you already love me in the days to come as you always have from the day of my birth and will to the day of my death. This is the day that you have made. This day, help me rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I was reminded reading that prayer my father used to say, fear is a cause to pause, an invitation to stop and seek the way forward. When Jesus fear, says fear not to his people, they are in the midst of crises, personal or public. They've paused to ask for direction and for courage and their fear makes them stop and ask, Lord, before we press on, are you there? Are you there? And Jesus says to them, yes, it's me, fear not. I am with you. Poet Laureate Joy Harjo writes, open the door, then close it behind you. Take a breath offered by friendly winds. They travel the earth gathering essences of plants to clean. Give it back with gratitude. If you sing, it will give your spirit lift to fly to the star's ears and back. If you sing, it will give your spirit lift. Be not afraid, I go before you always. Come, follow me and I will give you rest. Be not afraid. We're all in this together.